The Cannibo is a spiked or studded two-handed war club used in feudal Japan by the legendary warriors known as samurai. In the right hands, the Cannibo is capable of crushing and smashing through enemy armor and can even break a horse's leg. But just how much damage could a Cannibo cause to a person not wearing armor and who is also not a horse? At least anywhere it counts. I guess you could say I'm gonna go break a leg. Do you see how beautiful this Cannibo is? It looks amazing. It was once again made by the YouTuber Dies in Every Film Custom, the same person that made the Cat of Nine Tails that I tested out a month ago. You can go to his channel and check out the creation of this Cannibo. Link will be down in the description below. Go show him some love because this video wouldn't be possible without him making and sending me awesome weapons like this. Can he make me one? I don't think you need one, Mark. I, I should just have yours. Well, let's get to testing. So I'm not gonna lie, this thing is a very imposing weapon. It has quite a lot of weight behind it. I'd say anywhere from five to 10 pounds, it feels like. Has obviously these metal studs on it. I already know it's gonna do some serious damage. So before I get hit, I wanna test it out on this ballistics bear here. We're gonna see what it does to this, and then we'll see what it does to me. I think one day you should get a human size ballistic Houston Jones, so that way. You won't have to get hit anymore and we can just sit. Do you have any idea how much that would cost? Do you have any idea how much less you would get hurt? No, because I'm still going to get hit anyways. A little bit less. It's, you know, it's hey, a, shut up! It's a good shut investment. Shut up! A good investment. Mark, no. you're going to hit this bear and make it better than your practice swing because that was embarrassing. No proof. No proof well, of that. We have proof. That's, yeah. that's <laughs> yeah. from something else. It, it literally has the knots of the cannibal. You could like put it in like a puzzle. I stand. You stand. Defeated. Yeah. I stand defeated. <laughs> Ooh. I hit it again. You hit the box again? I got a golfer swing. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're really bad at this. <laughs> I felt well, it. you're definitely showing the bone-breaking capability of uh, the Cannibo. I think I nicked it right there. Yeah, yeah. Look how well it holds up, though. Man, yeah. dies in every film custom, so it can really make some solid weapons. I'd buy it. Well, guess I can't complain. Mark, how about you take another swing? I'm going to put it closer to the box. Thanks. Uh, I'll try not to. Try not to hit the box this time. Hit it. That was a good hit. Oh, wow. That was solid connection right there. Sounded like you're spanking a butt. He has a little, it's a little scuffed. I know it's hard to see, uh, but uh, <laughs> that's not the point. Uh, you know, what will reveal anything is the slow mo and the, the jiggle of the ballistic shell. I think I felt more in my wrist. Thing is heavy. You just have weak wrists. You want a wrist off? What? What's what? What? Uh, what do you mean by a wrist off? What are you, what are you, what are you trying to do? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. I win. By gauging the damage on the box, plus the, the bear flying, I'm uh, going to assume this is gonna hurt pretty bad. But we gotta know for sure, so. I have one pretty bad leg right now, thanks to last week's video. Ugh. So what I was thinking the target for this video would be my other leg. I figure if we hit this leg enough, from the calf all the way to the thigh, I can make this become my bad leg, then suddenly this leg will feel good in comparison. So that'll be your good leg? Yeah. Mm. See how that works? You just hurt the other leg and then this leg's good. Um, if, if you say so. Well, I did, I did say so. If, I said so. You did just say so just now. All right, let's not get technical. <laughs> I feel like this is a dumb idea, but I want to try it anyways. I'm going to get hit in the calf first. It's obviously much smaller than my quad, but I'm interested to see the pain levels and damage that can be delivered from the Cannabo. So Mark, I'm thinking we started at a nice, easy 15% power swing right into the back here of my, my calf. 
you know, it's already kind of like a Charlie horse and I don't like it, but. <laughs> oh yeah, it looks like 2%. <laughs> All right, let's double that. 30%. Ah, the calves are sensitive, man. It's not even that hard. You know what this reminds me of when I got punched with brass knuckles in my calf? Oh yeah. What ended up happening there? The bruise solidified it into like a bone-like material. There's a word for it. So then I felt like I had bone in my calf muscle for about six months. Oh God. Think that will happen here? Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe you should warm the muscle up. Let's like roll it out real quick at the club. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, and that doesn't feel good. <laughs> <laughs> Stop right there. <laughs> Figured I'd just drop on in to remind you all to like, comment, and to share this video. Who do you share it with? I don't know. Maybe send it to your grandma. She probably won't like my content, but she might watch it out of some morbid curiosity of why a grown man is hurting himself on camera. Also, if you're feeling really generous, you can turn on post notifications by clicking the bell icon. That way you're notified whenever I post a new video. And if you do all those things, it might help me out in the almighty YouTube algorithm. And I would really appreciate that. Thanks. And now back to the video. <sighs> my back. Oh, let's go a little bit harder. Just make sure you don't hit me in like the Achilles tendon. Okay, you gotta get me in the meat, you know, because my calves are pretty big. So get me right in the meat there. I never miss. Never. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh! Oh! Wow. You know, you got two good calves. Can't have one be worse than the other. But I'm trying to make this my good leg. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this leg's already bad. Just the thigh. Just the thigh, to be technical. In the shin. In the knees. In the oh, foot. Both knees. I'm losing it. Don't have a lot of good leg left. <laughs> <laughs> I can't go out on three calf hits. I need at least one more. Maybe two. Who knows? Could be three. Why stop at three, though? Four. You know, they say four is for boars. Yeah, you know, the, the big old pigs with horns. Yeah, no, I got that. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 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 Jumping jambalayas. That was pretty good. I think we can actually go just a little bit harder. You know, they say five, guys. four. Five guys. Five guys. I, no, I, I don't like the implication of that. Can we get five guys after this? Maybe you know that. there isn't one around here. 30 minutes away. I don't want five guys inside of me. I mean, in, in, my, in my stomach, uh... About six. <laughs> I don't know, how hard would you say that last hit was, Mark? 35, 40. We can go about maybe to 45. <sighs> Oh. I think that was more than 45. Oh. No? Nah. No. <laughs> he's, he's crawling. He's bear, oh. Reverse bear crawling. I think it's the perfect time to talk about the sponsor of this video. Once again, me and my merch. <laughs> you see, it's the same shirt I had on last week. My broken arm. Bam. See how cool I look in this? C collecting data. That's what we're doing right now. I bet you think maybe you want to look awesome in this shirt, but I'm going to do a slight modeling show for you. And I think you will change your mind. As you can see, we look pretty cool. And that could be you. If you just buy some Houston Jones merch, link down in the description, help support the channel and help make yourself look Pretty cool in the process. It's a win-win. Win-win-win. So many wins. Are the scars included? Scars not included. You gotta earn those. I mean, you shouldn't be earning the... That's the end of the, the sponsor. <laughs> Compelling data. It's red. Contused. It's definitely contused. Um, leg day is gonna be tough tomorrow. I'm telling you that much. Probably should have done it today. Now that I'm thinking about it. Maybe just skip calves. Just, do I look like a person that skips calves? Yeah, you got many moo-moos. Yeah. 
Calves are pretty tiny. Yeah. Compared to your quad, they're unproportional. You just sound like my YouTube comments right now. You're my friend, you're supposed to build me up. You're just tearing me down. If I don't criticize you, how will you get better? I can't, I can't lie to you. I hit my genetic potential years ago, okay? You know someone said I put synthol in my arms in the last week's video? Just because my bicep peaks look like this? This isn't my fault, Mark! It's not my fault my calves are proportionally smaller than my quads. My quads are just really big! Why don't you just lay off the quads a little, then it'll be okay. I'm gonna get hit in the quad now. You know, if we hit you in the cast a few more times, it might get bigger. Ah, he's got a good point. Th th that would just be swollen. Is that what it's, swollen? it's fake. Nah, it, that, that, it's cheating. It hits you all the time. Man, that's why you're so big. <laughs> yep, that's gonna be bad. <laughs> <laughs> I just felt so that, that That's very solid. Oh, the freckles. It's, that's not, that's not freckles. That's definitely, that's, that's my skin getting slightly ripped off. That's scar tissue. And scar tissue, yeah. That I wish you saw. It's quivering, my leg's quivering. That's the nerve damage. No, I think it's just cold outside. It is pretty chilly out. If you're, uh, that's the word I'm looking for. Delaying. Uh, stalling. Stalling. Procrastinating. Procrastinating? Procrastinating. Mm, sorry, you mumbled that. Uh, procrastinating. I'm not doing any of that because Mark's going to hit me with a 45% power hit right now. <clears throat> Good hit. 5% makes all the difference. She that does. was, <laughs> I think that was much harder. <laughs> it's subjective, right? It's subjective. <gasps> oh, we better get a slow-mo on the next one because I, I don't know how many more I got in me. <sighs> That's pretty bad. Yeah. I didn't react nearly as well. Uh, that's that's the thing when I uh, don't make noises like that, uh, it probably hurts pretty bad. Uh, Honestly, I don't remember the last time this much apparent bruising appeared that quickly after hits. There's been a few things that's done this, but not to this extent. Blood vessels have been broken. Good thing they're replaceable. Is that a good thing? Yeah, it means you can break them. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It means they're replaceable, so they're meant to be broken. Yeah, you're meant to get hit. You hear that, YouTube? <laughs> I'm meant to be hit. I can see why this can break a horse's leg. The closest thing I can compare this to that I've been hit with in the past is the crowbars, because they were heavy chunks of metal. I don't think we can swing too much harder without actually doing some irreparable damage to me. But I want to go another 5% harder in a similar area. Maybe we move it around a little, little bit because that's not looking good. And uh, we see what happens, huh? So you say I'm too accurate. You've gotten a lot of practice over the years, Mark. <laughs> it pays off. <laughs> 55. I don't know. Hey, hey. Suck it up. Let, the, let it out. <laughs> okay. Hey, just let it out. I just love science so much. Me too. Really. So much data is being collected. Really brings us all together. It does. It makes the world go around, you know? Uh -huh. Without science, where would we be? The Stone Age. We're still hitting you with clubs. I feel like in the Stone Age, they were... Oh, the neurons are firing. The knowledge has entered my brain. We need to do two hits back to back. I think we might be able to learn something from analyzing the slow-mo footage. I think I will be able to learn something from the impacts themselves. And I think you will be able to learn something from viewing the video. Everyone's gonna learn, and I think this will be a really good wholesome experience. So Mark, I want two hits, same power level as the last last hit, and I think it's gonna be a good time. Oh, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it, I can't do it. Nope. Almost got your hand. I can't do it. I, I can't, I can't. Come on, man. Break a leg. I think my leg is broken. I don't. <laughs> 
oh, that wind up like just put in the, the fear and fear into me. Like he hit me that one time. I was like, I can't take another one of those. It's just, he's been so accurate. Like he has not deviated from his initial trajectory. It's been great. I mean, not for me, but like, it's been punishing. It's been very punishing. No, no. That's a good idea. What if we hit me in the hand? <laughs> Ooh. Two. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I forgot what you're gonna do. <laughs> just that, that sound just threw me off so much. <laughs> How's your other leg feel? Honestly, I totally forgot about all this. This, nah, I don't. <laughs> this is my good leg now. It, it works. works. <laughs> it worked. Oh. <laughs> oh. That stings a lot worse in the hamstring. Yeah. I think there's like more fat back there, maybe more nerves or something, but good Lord. Successful experiment, I would say. Mark, how did it feel hitting someone with a weapon that was meant to kill? I didn't want to kill you today, but. Okay. But what? That could have happened. So you felt the power in your hands. Felt yeah. The potential. I felt the weight. The weight. Yeah, this is a scary weapon. One of the scarier ones that I think I've tested. But now, let's take a look at the damage. We started with my calf getting hit. And I gotta be honest, it doesn't feel great. I'm interested to see how that looks in a couple days. Next, we went to my quad. As you can see, it's already bruised, which is very impressive to me. Mark's accuracy was a stellar today. He hit the same spot over and over. And then last but not least, we hit my hamstring. I don't really know how that looks, but it doesn't feel great, I can tell you that much. I have a theory. Yes, let's hear it. Uh, the colder it is, the colder your body is, the more it hurts to get hit. It's an interesting theory, but I'm opposed to that because I'm almost thinking my body's numbed a little bit. Like, you know, you know it's when cold, you're, numbed. When, you, when your hands are cold and you get slapped, it hurts a little more. I disagree once again because my hands would be numb. Well, they're, they're not numb you, to you, the point. When it's you're, you're cold, your your nerves are numb. No, they're more alert. No, no, you're wrong. Mm. Let's hear your theories in the comments, but I'll check back in a couple days to show you the damage from the cannonball. You're wrong about this. No, I'm not. Now that it's been three days, it's time for the Cannabo Damage Review. Also, I uh, think it's pronounced Cannabo, not Cannabo. Surprisingly, I ended up with very minimal bruising on my calf, quad, and hamstring. However, there was quite a lot of swelling after the experiment, which resulted in me walking around with a limp for the past few days, which leads me to believe that the injuries I received were more deep tissue ones and less superficial, which seems to be the trend with the heavier blunt weapons that I test, such as the crowbars and now the Kanabo. For whatever reason, these heavier blunt weapons seem to bruise me a lot less than the lighter ones, such as the Cato Nine Tails, but the injuries are much more painful and harder to recover from. But with that being said, I think the Kanabo is an extremely lethal weapon that could absolutely break someone's bones, if not worse, if swung at full power. And now I totally understand why historically it was used to smash through enemy armor, because even getting hit at half power is immensely painful and results in injuries that takes days to recover from. Just a heavy, mean, dangerous weapon that you should never, under any circumstance, probably take a hit from. But that's it for the kind of bow. What I wanna know from you guys is, what weapon should I test out next? write it down in the comments and there's a good chance I'll do it. Assuming, of course, that I haven't already been hit by that weapon. Um, quite frankly, I've tested out quite a few weapons at this point. Almost an alarming amount of weapons. But there's always more. The testing never stops. At least while I'm alive. <laughs>